everyone welcome back to my channel go dynamic it so today in this video we are going to configure our dir615 router into the client mode so this is uh, about the wireless clients assume that you have a, a router on your uh, first floor and then you have um, a, a workstation your workstation your your uh, desktop or i would say server room assume that you have a server room or or some other place where you do not have a wirelessly access to to, to the, the device is not a wireless enabled devices so what you can do is you can configure your router in such a way that it will receive the signal wirelessly and then it will provide the internet to your wi wired devices right so 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 let's get into the video and try to understand that how we can achieve that. For that, what we have to do is we have to bring our browser first. And uh, you have to browser, you have to type the default IP address of your router. So this is my default IP of the router. And your router and your PC should be directly connected. This is the one prerequisite you have. Now, so once we um, start, first time once we restart this router, click on the start. And you can see so this, um, this wizard will come after the factory reset of your device. So you can factory reset it and how to factory reset. You can go ahead and watch my uh, video on my channel, go dynamic it. So click on the start here and then it's asking for the language. So, um, it support four or five languages, but I would rather prefer to go with the English one, click on the, and then click on the continue here. You can see here in this uh, wireless connection method. It's asking about the wired and wireless. So wired we have already covered and wireless we have already covered the client and uh, sorry, repeater and WPS mode. Now it's time to go with the client one. So you can see here when I see the clink of the client, you have router somewhere else. Then it's receiving the signal. You can see this is receiving the wireless signal. And after receiving the wireless signal, it's providing this access to your LAN network. This is only purely for the LAN. LAN network means all your wired devices no wireless right wirelessly it will only talk to the other other uh, other router which is from where it will receive the signal so this is a good thing like that we have a workstation somewhere and then you have already this uh, um, wired connection it you can you can do that right and then click on the next and then it's asking about that you if you want to obtain ip address from your router go ahead and do that or if you want to your own you can um, go ahead and do that and here it's asking about the name it's always good to put my uh, always good to put the name uh, some name here so you can see here the my workstation so this is this name is just to identify this device so you could have the multiple devices in your network so when you log into your router you can find it out that this is my workstation it will be easier for the management as well right so you know the ip address of, of this router you can change in this case my case it's 0 0.1 you can change the ip address whichever you want right so so now click on the next i need to ask you about the ssid what ssid it will uh, grab this uh, access so in my case i just wanted to i don't want to give the manually i just click on the wireless network and let's select it automatically so in this case i'll select this uh, lmn 2g and if you um, so after selecting that you can see here this all options are this is the authentication type and encryption type already has come now it's time to put the password you have to provide the password which this wi-fi has wi-fi network has right is the other password is not going to work so assume that this is the password uh, you have and click on the next and it says that uh, let's show you the live example here so this is my own network i click on the wireless network and then uh, select this one and let's put the password click on the next and this is this is how the way is it asking about the web based internet password means when you log into the router it will ask you for the password okay let me put some strong password to it. And click on the next. And here it's showing you the summary of this uh, configuration, whatever configuration we have assigned it. 
now it's always recommended to save this password it will ease your administration so in case your router re uh, resetted or you resetted for some something you can uh, restore it back you can see now the configuration has been saved and now it's time to apply this configuration and now it's through the moment so it's applying the configuration here okay while it's trying to uh, 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 configure this device we can check the internet access on my uh, workstation you can see here uh, let's ping this uh, internet you can see here I do not have access to the internet. So once this, once this device come back, I should have access to the internet. So let's wait while it's rebooting. Uh, we can wait for a few seconds. Okay, after reboot, it's applying the configuration. So you can see here now it says that configuration have, uh, applied. And then uh, it says that uh, if you are connected to the cable, make sure that you have a DSCP. Uh, cable is connected properly and all, uh, right? So click on the next and it's a che this is checking the device availability. And at this point of time, you're, uh, on your desktop, you should be seeing the small desktop type of icon should come again, right? And now it's time to check the internet. So let's ping this. Here we go. You can see here now I have internet and try to browse Google. You can see here now we have a Google is also working on on this device. So this is a very cool feature which is provided by this dealing DAR615 router, the client mode. You can extend your uh, wireless network into the LAN network. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, query or feedback related to, uh, to this video, please do let me in the comment box and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching my video.